a yellow cake with almost like liquid marshmallow dropped all over the cake. So I've got three cups of flour. That's gonna build the foundation for a really supple yellow cake studded with chocolate chips and sour cream and just pillows and pillows of white frosting. So one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one level teaspoon of kosher salt, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Just give them a little sift. And you can see sifting is not only gonna aerate my cake, but it also helps the ingredients to mix together. Now for the wet ingredients, the part that's really gonna add that goop factor to the cake. So let's start with a little sour cream, couple eggs, and to that we're gonna add a little bit of sugar. Two eggs whole. I just cracked the edge of the egg on the board and into the bowl. It is always the first ingredient I add to a bowl. That way if there's anything wrong with an egg, I can just dump it out, start again, and I don't lose any of my other ingredients. To that I'm gonna add simply one and a third cups of granulated sugar. I love that feeling of doing something by hand and knowing as I mix it that someone I really care about is gonna eat it. And you wanna whisk this just a little bit until it gets light and lemony colored. There's gonna be some dark chocolate in this cake, but in order to make that chocolate really come out, I find the best way to do that is to add some vanilla. The vanilla is the unsung hero of so many cakes that we love. So here goes to the caped, underhanded crusader who's gonna make this cake delicious. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So now, an unassuming ingredient in an unassuming place. Sour cream, perfect to make any cake moist. And that tang is really gonna play off nicely against the sweetness of all that frosting and the bitterness of the chocolate. So in with the first cup of sour cream, look at that. And then another cup, and you can measure it out kind of loosely, because if there's a little bit extra in there, it's only gonna make your batter moister. When you add that sour cream, you're gonna see your cake batter is gonna start to take on real structure. Now, introducing your dry to your wet ingredients, you wanna do it kind of slowly. Like when you introduce two friends at a party. I like to use a whisk, just to make sure that I'm not getting a lumpy batter. So we know a lumpy batter will lead to a grumpy cake. So here I've just melted one stick plus two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I have salt in the cake, so I don't need any salt in the butter, right? Create a little hole in the center. I find that always makes it easier. And now I'll just pour in that melted butter. Now the butter's melted, but kind of room tempy. Shut it off and just let it hang on the stove. It can be warm, but not piping hot. So I've got that vanilla in there. And once you add the warm butter, the slight heat from that kind of lands on the other ingredients. Now this is when the smell really starts to come into play. I want there to be just a little chocolate mixed in there. So I've got one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate just cut into chunks so there's, it's like flecked with chocolate. Now look at that, really packs a punch. No mixers, no nothing, we're ready to put our cake in the oven. I just wanna divide the cake batter in half. And into the oven we go. I'm gonna bake these two cakes at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes until when a toothpick is inserted in the center, it comes out perfectly clean. Now I can really smell the butter and those chocolate chips that are running through the cake. And now to test for doneness, I just pierce the center of one of the cakes and I want it to come out. You should just, you can have a little bit of that melted chocolate and just a few crumbs from the cake. That's the telltale sign that these cakes are ready to come out of the oven. And turn that first cake, look at that. Now we just peel away that protective layer of parchment. And I might just save these to nibble on later. So I've got this beautiful cake cooling. That really makes me wanna get going on my frosting. I've got a double boiler that's starting to come to a bubble. I start with just two egg whites. I'm gonna add to that a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. 
one and a third cups of granulated sugar and five tablespoons of water. Just regular cool tap water. And one tablespoon of corn syrup. Another stabilizer in all this. My water bath is coming to a boil. Armed with my weapon. I'm just gonna whip. I'm gonna turn this into fluff. So once I've got a nice kind of fluff factor on my frosting, I'm ready to just take this off the heat. I'm just gonna add a touch of vanilla extract just to give it a little bit of personality. So I'll add a teaspoon of vanilla and just gently fold that in here. Now you can see just from the spatula what kind of marshmallow goop we've got on our hands. Looks like candy. And now to put together that cake. I'm just gonna cut a tiny little piece. This will be our secret. A little bit of that frosting. Mm. The darkness of the chocolate in the cake and that bit of vanilla I put in the frosting kind of jive together. Just take your first bit of that goopy frosting and press down a little bit. This is actually my father's favorite cake. And my mother used to say to him, do you want the cake? And my father would just nod. That was the conversation. Do you want the cake? Yes, with a nod. And to me, that's what this cake has always been. 